I think of my dad every day. Running out of the tunnel and just hearing the crowd and the band playing, everything that I had heard since I was young. If he was still here, he'd be in our seats on the 30-yard line. Sam Ellinger feels him here, on the 40 acres, in Darrell K. Royal Texas Memorial Stadium. His father, Ross Ellinger, loved the Longhorns and taught Sam and his sister and brother to love them too. Hey, hook the horn. Hook the horn, Judy. Bye bye. All right, good job. Daddy, on the Texasaurapon, you all the days are away. We had season tickets. He'd make us go in the rain. He'd make us go in the cold. <laughs> We'd all be like, are we really gonna go sit in the rain? He's like, yes, we are. That's what fans do. So we would load them up in their little rain slickers and go sit in the rain. All right, so go, take buddy. the spine, Here take the spine. My dad taught me how to throw the football. He taught me how to shoot a basketball. He taught me how to throw the baseball. Everything that he could teach me, he did. He was very encouraging. He really was great at instilling confidence in everyone around him. There was nothing that they ever felt like they couldn't do. A lot of times during Sam's football games, he would pace or sit by himself until the game was kind of close to over and then he'd come join me. And it was like they had a little bit of a secret communication going on. An athlete himself, Ross Ellinger blew out his knees playing high school football. As an adult, he satisfied his competitiveness with endurance races. He started doing marathons first and he was big and won all the like Clydesdale divisions. And then that started really hurting his knees more and he started getting into the triathlons. On March 3rd, 2013, Ross and Jenna Ellinger were in San Francisco for the Escape from Alcatraz triathlon. The course, a 1.5 mile swim from Alcatraz Island, an 18 mile bike ride, and an eight mile run. It was like 4.30 in the morning and he was packing up his stuff and getting his bike ready. He gave me a kiss and said goodbye like he always did and said, I love you. I said, I love you too, have fun, go get him. And that was, that was it. Ross had raced in 15 triathlons, including Escape from Alcatraz five years earlier. On this morning, the San Francisco Bay was frigid and choppy. Before we jumped in the water and we started putting our wetsuits on, I could see the anxiety building up in Ross. Then when I jumped in the water, it was cold and very rough. With the currents moving so fast, I just it was just a, an eerie feeling. My cell phone rang. They said, this is the EMS fire marshal and we're with your husband. And he's not breathing and we're having a hard time resuscitating him and you need to, you need to come immediately. And then we got to him and he was on the dock. And then they, you know, they said that we tried, they tried. Ross Ellinger died of cardiac arrest. He was 46 years old. Despite her grief, Jenna rushed to the airport. She wanted her three children, 1,700 miles away in Austin, to hear the news of their father's death from her. My mom walked in the door with, uh, with all of her friends and she was bawling, crying, so I immediately knew. I didn't have to say anything. He looked at me and fell apart. My body actually gave out. I actually completely lost all like strength in my body and just collapsed to the floor. I just tried to hold him. But the sound that he made, the cry that came out of him, it was just a, a painful, horrible sound. To see that kind of just horrible pain is, is really hard. From that point forward, it was having to take care of my, my brother and sister because I was older than them and as well as my mom because she lost the love of her life and she was devastated. I had to grow up really quickly. 
the last thing I wanted was for him to feel pressure of having to be that father figure, but there was no stopping him. He was the rock. That maturity would show up on the field as well. At Westlake High School, Sam broke the career passing yardage and touchdown records set by Super Bowl champions Drew Brees and Nick Foles. He led the Chaparrales to the 6A Division I state championship game in 2015 before committing to Texas as a junior, fulfilling the childhood dream he shared with his father. I do believe he's with us, and I do believe that he can send us little signs of his encouragement and his love. And I don't think that we would have the strength to all be where we are today if we didn't have what we had with him and what I think he does continue to give us from afar. I can definitely feel his presence in, in the stadium. Just knowing that, that he's there, it really motivates me to be the best that I can because he's watching me at every second.